Ryan Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Calm, as in I've calmed down. Well, a couple of dunderheads in the chat. But let's talk about the bright side of the ring. AW and the Owen Hart Foundation announced a new partnership on Monday, which will include the creation of the Owen Hart Cup Tournament. The collaboration will also include production and distribution of unique and original Owen Hart merchandise, like action figures, apparel, posters, and other collectibles, and inclusion in the upcoming AW console video game. The tournament will see the creation of a cup they are calling the Owen. Created in 2000 and run by Owen's wife, Martha, the nonprofit foundation provides global aid to at-risk communities with scholarships, housing, food drives, backpack giveaways, and more. Owen Hart, then 34, killed during an accident after being dropped into the ring while in a harness at the then WWF Over the Edge pay-per-view in May 1999. Martha later sued WWF, settled out of court for $18 million. AW's relationship with the Hart family dates back to our inaugural pay-per-view, Double or Nothing, in 2019, and Owen's influence is still felt today. To extend his memory and his legacy even further through this agreement is a powerful and meaningful moment for the entire wrestling community, said Tony. Martha said, The Owen Hart Foundation extremely pleased to partner with AEW in this wonderful joint venture to honor Owen's substantial international wrestling career and the lasting influence he and his, uh, he and his craft have had on the sport. AEW's Owen Hart Cup Tournament serves as a tremendous tribute to Owen, provides an incredible way for pro wrestling enthusiasts to celebrate his work in the most fitting way. We trust that Tony Khan and his amazing AEW team will do a brilliant job with this highly anticipated project. So there you go. The Owen Hart Cup. The Owen is coming to AEW. It's awesome. Not I everything mean, in wrestling is horrible. No, and this is just so awesome. And everything that Martha Hart has done, everything the foundation has done since his passing, she has so... Uh, boy, I, I, everybody ought to pray that they find someone in their life that is willing to protect and value your legacy the way that she has and honored her husband's legacy and the father of her kids i i can't it's so the whole story is so horrible and was so horrible for so long and i think people really with dark side of the ring there was a whole new generation that really got to understand and really maybe for the first time really heard Martha Hart pour her heart out and then got to see what the foundation is doing and then got to see how she has honored her 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 husband's legacy. And this is just incredible that she trusts AEW enough to do this because of the way she is and how protective she is. So for her to reach this deal... Puts a lot of pressure on AEW forever. Going forward, you better make sure you always get this one right because for all of the hell and all of the ugliness of pro wrestling, once again, talk about another horrible, ugly pro wrestling situation from that time. There's none, none more ugly than this one. The fact that we've come to a mending point, the fact that he's going to be in these games, the fact that a new generation is going to be able to understand and feel this, and this foundation can continue to get bigger and bigger and do more and more and help more is just incredible. So I just, I love everything about this with all of the negativity that's going on. I'm thrilled about it. The one thing I am hoping as a wrestling fan, as an Owen Hart fan, one thing I'm hoping for is that every time that they award this cup, the Owen, to somebody, and they hand it to the winner, either the handle breaks off, there's some sort of gag that happens that, that would only be just fitting that it's Owen Hart smiling down from heaven with some sort of sight gag to happening, that, that a rib taking place, just to, just, just to complete the whole thing, so... Again, I can't add more superlatives to this. It, it's awesome. Great. I'm happy for everybody. This person here says, remember that WWE convinced everyone Martha did not want Owen's legacy to be celebrated when she just didn't want it to be celebrated by them. Two Hallelujah. extra words 
that make all the difference. Hallelujah. I saw Cubs fan post that on Twitter, and he is exactly right. I think it was Cubs fan. I can't remember who. Whoever you were, absolutely. That is exactly the case. And there are people, apparently, I haven't seen these people because I have a well-curated timeline, apparently that are complaining about this. And nah, let's just move on. I don't look, want to hear it. The, look, if you're that ignorant, you know what you get. WWE smeared Martha Hart's reputation and made her a villain for 20 years, all while trying to get her to let them market and sell Owen Hart again so they could babyface themselves, and she kept turning down their money. A hero. So you should have just skipped right over WWE. And they're just uh, wretched, wretched often uh, in this. They sued her. There, there's so many things. So many things. This but, person uh, says, Owen Hart mm-hmm. went to work for Vince, never came home. The show didn't stop. Business as usual. They sued Martha. Yeah. And people question her motives when she didn't trust Vince to honor Owen's legacy with grace. Sports says, today speaks volumes of the reputation Tony Khan and AEW have built. Like with Brian Danielson and CM Punk, I wouldn't be surprised if how AEW handled Brody's final months with such grace played a part in them gaining her trust as well. These are long, sought-after news. Finally, Owen can be celebrated. Let me tell you something. Just let me throw this and insert this in. Brody Lee, everything, everything about that, from how his family... His, his work family and everybody around there kept that quiet. The way that AEW has treated that family, that was a mass. I don't know if that was a turning point, but I can say this. It galvanized AEW in a different light for me. It wasn't just, and it may sound corny to some people, I don't, I, I don't care. I'm a 45-year-old man with a, with a kid that has, has aged a lot in the last 20 years, a lot. And perspectives change. And when you see what they have done, when you hear some of the things that you not, have not heard about publicly that they have done for people and that they are doing for people, even on our own, so just with what they've done for like Jim Valley, for example, with what they do on on, on levels like that, it, it, it did change things. And I, whatever happens in the ring, there's a lot I like, there's a lot I don't like. I really don't like about AEW in the ring, but hey, it all balances out. We're here to talk about it. It's what it is. But when you see a company treat their people like that, when they don't have to, when there's a whole history of them not doing it, I I mean, you you cannot, there's a lot you may be able to say about Tony Khan and the people involved, but you have to take your hat off to him for this. WWE being the only show in town for so long allowed them to control and profit off of the narrative of pro wrestling, especially when people they wronged came back to them. Therefore, I'm so glad Martha Hart got what she wanted for all of these years, a proper celebration of Owen Hart's life. This person, I'm so happy for Martha, who finally has a way to celebrate her late husband's wrestling legacy to mainstream level. This, for various reasons, could never happen in WWE and will hopefully end the annual Owen Hall of Fame discussion, something Martha categorically does not want. This person here, the Owen Hart announcement, got me emotional. When Chris Jericho talked about Martha on his podcast, I dreamed of something like this but wasn't sure if it would ever happen. I'm glad it has. All the best to the Hart family. This person here says, Martha Hart did Dark Side of the Ring. She's worked with Pro Wrestling Tees. She's done Jericho's podcast. She does not hate the wrestling business. She hates Vince McMahon, and with good reason. This AEW deal is wonderful for all involved. And finally... And let me just say this. She doesn't hate Vince McMahon because I I don't think she's, you know, said that very clearly. You know, she has forgiven. I I wouldn't want to put hate in that woman's heart, but I think she is very realistic on what they are. Bless Martha Hart, this person says. I also love that AEW has built enough trust for Owen's family to trust them with his legacy. Wonderful news all around. Not going to lie, this Owen Hart AEW news made my morning today, and people still argue for a virtual monopoly in wrestling. Well, no one. No, no, no. No, no. no one, ironically, no, that's not no. under on the payroll for any particular company. No. And then this person just celebrating her comment about trusting Tony Khan with Owen Hart's legacy. So anyway, like I said, not everything is horrible in wrestling. Sometimes you just hear about all the horrible stuff. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.